Hi guys, I'm back. Well, I um, I thought about my last pour and I thought, you know, the paint was just way too thick. So for the sake of experiment and teaching, I thought, why don't I do exactly the same pour, but the paint thinner to see what the difference is. And I'm sure a lot of you will um, appreciate that because that's really what my channel is all about showing the different things you can do with this paint. So I have the same paint. It's all Winsor & Newton. The blues, the greens. The greens I made myself because it's a uh, it's yellowish green with a little bit of extra yellow to make it, you know, just a little bit more of a vibrant green. The blues, especially the turquoise color, is of phthalo blue and green. I have the titanium white for the background, one with silicone, one without. I have my Van Dyke brown, which I warm a little with yellow and uh, orange. See, it gets this beautiful chocolatey color. And um, that's about it. So again, I have my little uh, canvas already here. Um, I have my little cup that I used in the previous pour. And I'm going to fill it up with a couple of colors. Of course, the blues, the greens, the turquoise, and a little bit of white. But this time the uh, paint is a lot, lot thinner. Let's put a little bit more white in there because I'd like to have this one a little brighter than the previous one. So I'm giving it a really tiny little stir, putting it on the canvas and then coming in with the titanium white without the silicone and pouring it on the canvas. I've got to keep a lot because I'm going to do the four cup flip after this one. So there we go. Now a lot of people are asking me about the uh, Brother Scan and Cut where you buy them. You know, the problem is I live in Holland and um, if you're in, in America or Canada or Australia, you won't have much on the links that I have because I bought mine in a store. There's a, a big a sewing machine store here in, uh, where, in the town where I live. And um, because this, this machine is um, mostly used for quilting, because you can put any sort of a fabric on there with a sort of an image on it and it'll cut it out for you. Okay, a little bit behind the cup, like I always do, because we're going to do a push and a pull. Now, I'll say watch it slowly because it goes fast. So you push it up and pull it back. See that? And the, um, the white covers it totally. And I'm going to let it go up a little because we want a little bit more color than we had in the previous one. Okay, so that's that. Oh, my hands are pretty dirty and I forgot to bring up one of those cl clean cloth things. So let me put that up there. And I will torch it. Here we go. Now this one is really, really pretty. I like it because it has um, almost, they're all, look at my <laughs> hands. <laughs> okay, every color is sort of um, turned into turquoise, light or dark, or a little bit more green turquoise, or a little bit more blue turquoise. So this is really pretty. I'm not going to do anything with this one. I'm just going to leave it as it is. And I just might let it, let the cells grow a little bit because I kind of like that just a little 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 bit like that and just leave it you know my hands are itching to do something to it um, of course I'd love to put a little glitter on it but let's not do that on this one so I'll take you guys down of course I have to but I don't want to take off my gloves because I don't. I want to do a couple of swishes. 
Let's see if you can see it like this. I hope it's going to focus by itself. No, of course not. There you are. Look at those cells. So that's kind of pretty. And let me focus it back on there. So we're going to keep this one exactly like it is, putting it away that we don't drop any more paint on it. Now, as you can see, only half of the cup um, spilled out when I did the push in the pull. And that's sort of how you want to do it. You want to do it really fast like that. Now, I'm going to get a piece of Yippo. Because I want to show you the difference between um, the Yupo and the uh, the photo paper. That's also one that I know a lot of people will be um, wanting to see what the difference is. And I really think, you know, if you're going to make um, jewelry, uh, you want the best possible um, base so that the cells, you know, really become cells. So... Let's put some on here. I really like those colors. A little bit of white on top of it. Then I'll just let it slowly go over the uh, the Yupo. Put one on top. Do a little squish. Now that is gorgeous. And for me, it's more about the color than the uh, than the cells, but. I love this, really. And as you can see, it sells really nice. So I'm putting that one away. Going for the next one, but this time I'm going to add a little bit of green. A few drops here and there. And then put one on top, a little squish. And I'm sure I can get a couple of nice pieces out of this for jewelry. And the last one that's on the table. That's that. More than enough. Let's see if I can get you in focus here. There you are. See that? And it will dry um, almost um, flat, but that doesn't matter because we're going to pop on some... Uh, resin anyway. Now I've been uh, going through all my uh, Yupo pores and I have a lot of them, hundreds, and what I was um, really um, what surprised me was that I really almost never do my signature colors anymore. And I don't know why that is. Oh, this is cool. I'll keep this one nice and light. I think I have some uh, really beautiful beads that would go with this, the same, almost the same color as that. And now I have to find some place to put this all, because it does take up a lot of uh, room if you do a lot of these Yupo swipe things. So you, you don't really need to torch it really long, just a little bit. That's that. Now I'm going to do one more. And this time I'm going to um, use the brown. So I'm going to try to make something that looks a little bit like my um, signature colors. Oh, you can't see it over there. I'll have to put it in the paint. Who knows? So coming in with some brown and what I really think is that I need some um, orange and some yellow and of course my turquoise that's that I 
think I can mix two uh, two brands of paint. I think that that can be done. So I'm uh, putting some yellow and some uh, orange. That's Vallejo. That's that. And then I want a little bit of white. That's that. And then pick it up. Put the top on there. Squish it a little. And peel it off. Now, pretty, but not what I was expecting. I'm really missing my really... I'll have to go get one. And of course, this is, um, you know, if you're into orange, these would be beautiful, but why doesn't it, that thing work? Ooh, there we go. See, there's a lot of cells in there, but I'm not too fond of the colors. They're not really doing it for me. I'll keep them, but, you know, there'll always be someone that really likes those colors. That's how it works. Okay, I still have a piece of that Yupo left, so let me just, I and I still have some in my little cup here. Ooh, that looks pretty all by itself. Oh, look at that. That's before the swish. So I'm gonna make it go a little bit bigger. Maybe I'll just keep it like this. Yeah, this is kind of cool. I'm using my finger as a sort of a corner catcher so that the uh, paint doesn't all fall off and then I'll let it flow back. But this could be really beautiful, this piece here. Hmm, I think I'll keep that just like it is. And one more. Because I have some left. Let's just make a little spiral. Oops, I don't even... Oh yeah, you can. You can see it. You know, I think that might be really pretty. <clears throat> if you put a resin layer on top, that might look really, really cool. All these, sort of like a tree pour, tree ring pour. Like to let it come down a bit. With this, you have to have a little patience because I want that, this green thing, I sort of want that in the middle because that should be, you know, your focal point. Letting it go back up and back down. And I am gonna torch it a little. But I also wanna keep these swirls. So that's all I'm gonna torch. I, I did one there, one there. So that's it. Let's see if you can really see it up close. There you go. This one I'm just gonna keep just like this. Little swirly stuff going on. And now I really got, I'm really into it. <laughs> that swirly stuff. I gotta do one more. So cutting up my Yubo, and of course I'll have to put some more paint in. Dark. 
Let's put some more white in. That might give it a nice effect if I want to do those little swirls and the really bright green. And then I'm going to give a little stir, just like that. And I'm going to pour it just like a tree pour. Nah, not so nice. Not this one. So you really need some uh, contrast in it. And that's... Um, so we're going to put this aside for a bit and hope that... Nah, let's put some more in. You really want some contrast. That's looking a lot better. And as you can see, you got to play with it a little, you know, to make sure that you get all the um, the rings and and swirls like you want it. I think my uh, oh yeah, it's giving up. That's a little bit too much. Sometimes you can overdo the contrast. And with this one, I overdid it. So we're going to put the other one on top, give it a little swishy, pull it off. Ooh, that's something different. Yeah, that's, that's really beautiful. I like the muted uh, color in this one. Now let's do the other one. I'm gonna let some of that paint off there. That will be beautiful too. Wow. Imagine that, that bit here. That's what I'd like to take out. That is beautiful. It's almost like stone. That is beautiful. I like. I really, really like it. Now, going back. Now I'm going to try one more. The last one, I promise. The weather here has been, what's a good word? Horrendous. It's been raining, raining, raining. And, um, gray gray, gloomy, really depressing weather. Don't know how Dutch people uh, survive. We had a really bad summer. Didn't even look like summer. And I wanted to go to the islands, but I couldn't go because the weather was so bad. Because if you're there, you have to have a little bit of decent weather. Because, you know, you want to be walking on the beach and doing stuff. But it was really terrible. Okay. Not that I'm saying wow, but I'm sure I can get some pretty cool earrings out of this one. See, it? I have two, so I can, I'm sure I can get something out of this. Okay, what I'm going to do now, guys, is I'm going to clean up this mess, put all the yupos aside, and then I'm going to clean the plastic, and then I'm going to do the four cup flip. So, um, thanks for watching, and see you in a bit. And I know I promised to try to do all the videos today, and then do them one by one, every day, you know, put one up every day, but I don't think that's going to happen, <laughs> because as soon as I do something, I just want to put it up on uh, on eBay, uh, eBay, <laughs> YouTube. So, um, well, maybe I'll just do um, a small one every day, I'm not sure, we'll see. I got my lights though, my studio lights are in, I just got them this morning, I set them up, and um, I might show you that tomorrow. 
Uh, tomorrow we're also going to do the final resin layer on that blue, blue fossil thing I did. Because um, when I took the tape off, the sides were standing up, so I had to sand them down. And um, it needs one more final coat, so I'll take you along with the ride for the ride, and we'll have a little fun with that. And what else is new? I'm not sure. Oh yeah, the other painting is dry. The one with the little spiky things, see that? It dried. And all the spikes are in place, and all the pretty pinks, and the greens. Yeah, I kind of like this one. It's, it's different. You know, you can't always do the same sort of pores because it gets really boring, but I kind of like this. But I'm still looking for something. I have a picture in my mind, a sort of Klimt-like Klimt um, um, thing that I want to do with watercolor and a lot of uh, gold leaf. So, But I'm not sure how I'm going to do that. I haven't got, totally you know, wrapped my mind around how I'm exactly going to do that. But I will soon, so um, we'll see how that goes. So thank you all for watching. Love you all to pieces. Liebe euch alle. See you back in a couple of minutes. Bye-bye. Thank you.